I'm with uh, Ruth Ben Yosef from King's Kids in Jerusalem. Now, Ruth, what is King's Kids? Uh, King's Kids is a group of uh, children and youth. And it's actually international organization that is connected to YWAM, Youth with a Mission. And um, we are um, uh, doing together with children and youth many things. We are studying Bible, we are worshiping. But the, one of the main issues that we are focusing is the, to, to use the gifts of the children and youth to evangelize. And yeah. And what ages do you have with the youth and the children? Uh, we start at the moment from 6, 7 until 18. Uh, now you are King's Kids Jerusalem. Are there other groups around the country? Yes, there is two other groups in the central area, Gush Dan area, close to Tel Aviv. There is one group that is developing uh, Messianic Jews, as we are as well Messianic Jews. And then in the north, there is a Galil King's Kids, and they are Arab uh, Christians. And... Uh, what do you do with the children and the youth? We come together, we eat together, we have fun together, we, um, we study Bible together, we pray together. So um, we are preparing um, artistic plays, if it's drama or dance or songs, performances, different kinds of performances that we are doing in the country and also when we have possibility to go abroad and to do outreaches so we are also using this uh, um, place there now you've just been out on two missions trips where have you been we've been uh, to germany on july with the uh, with the age uh, 13 15 and uh, in brazil on august with the uh, high school teenagers and who did you go with and uh, what did you do there so we went there with uh, um, with the King's Kids Israel group, totally, so it means the Jews and Arabs together. And, and how important is it working Jews and Arabs together? It's very important, and it's very unique here in the country that what we are doing, I think that we are one of the pioneering groups that are bringing Jews and Arabs together, and um, it's it's important for to educate the youth and children to grow without hatred towards each other and uh, and as we put these children together uh, just in the to do activities together to have trip together to to go abroad together so we see that many borders already are taking from way and and as we are serving the community so this is we have the aim together combined uh, aim that we are serving and also we are evangelizing together if, if it's in the country abroad so um, it's very important do uh, the both different communities tend to stay within their own community so Arabs will stay with Arabs and Jews stay with Jews and not really know the other side of each other this is usually how it goes because it's too challenging people doesn't want really to do if there is somebody hurt each other so they say, okay, we try it, we want to go back to be in our own uh, group. But we just, we have the vision. We in Kings City have a vision. Without the vision, we, we couldn't do it. And, and me personally, I have a vision to, to work with those both groups together. It's already 10 years that I've been doing that. And, and God has been faithful. And I, I can see that it could happen without the vision, that God has given this... Uh, this uh, love for that work and uh, it's very challenging it's not easy it's not easy for the leaders it's not easy for the youth but it's challenging and and in the end the blessings are beyond the words of course you've also worked with palestinian christians as well haven't you yes so from time to time we also have possibility to to join the palestinian youth to our group yeah it's a little bit more complicated because of the problem to to, to pass the border but but we have managed to do it as well now, is it important to take the children out and work outside of the community of the country? Yes, absolutely. This is important because when we take the youth out from the country, there is kind of less tension, we found out, and the, all the issues and the pressure that we have here in the country, it's, it's less when we go outside. And so we see that it's more easy to work in about the area of reconciliation and the youth there more open to each other and, and we have possibility to to talk about even different issues and you know when they serve together when they sleep together and they they eat together and we just travel together there's many opportunities that there 
you know, we come closer to each other and it's just, we forget actually that we are two different groups. You're one group actually, and we have fun together. That's nice. Now, when you were out there in Brazil, what did you get up to and what things were you doing? Wow. It was very exciting journey. We were invited by, um, by YWAM Brazil and, um, we were uh, uh, visiting in the YWAM bases in the in the town Belo Horizonte, and um, and also we were in Kings Kids Brazil base in Pitangui. It's more in the countryside, and uh, especially in Belo Horizonte, we visited the um, rock house and uh, and lighthouse that they are basement that they are working actually bet in bet between the ch street kids and in Pavelo. That it means you know the slums areas there and uh, we we were walking in the slums together with the local workers and um, we were just meeting the people there and we saw the all these uh, difficult things that we could see but it was really really exciting and and interesting and it was sad as well and we heard all these stories about uh, the life of the children especially but um, it was uh, very challenging. We were part of the, their ministry there, and uh, we served the, the local community there in different ways. We were visiting schools, a um, big number of schools, and uh, also we were, we were doing performances on streets. Now, Israel is particularly a first world country. What was it like for the, the youth to see poverty firsthand? And, and do you think it's changed them anyway and realized that sometimes they waste things here in the land yeah i think that you know here in israel we are we used to criticize so easily and youth especially oh it's difficult and we adults as well we say oh uh, we are difficult life here but when you go and see some really you know difficult situations really poverty and really um yeah uh, real poorness so uh, i think that it really did a change in the in all of our lives because we, we really appreciate what we have. And, um, and at the same time, it made us to think like how this situation could come and how could we be part of helping those that they have less than us. And what sort of stories do you have from the trip? Well, um, I could say there is, um, uh, there is, uh, two story, different stories. We were in Brazil and we were in Germany. I could tell one story from, Germany first. As Germany, it was different trip at all. There we were actually um, we were uh, invited by the elite of uh, German former kinghood, um, like people that they they actually they own a lot, and uh, so we were served by them, and we were uh, actually. Uh, you know, we lived in a big, big um, castle, and uh, we—it <laughs> was so much different. But but we actually were very touched to see people that they have a lot, but they gave everything to to the ministry to God, everything, and they were blessed, and we were blessed, and we also they we also there. One of the issue that was very coming out from this trip was the issue that still the German nation they have the guiltness of what happened in the Second World War. And it was interesting discussions. And I think that we as a King's Kids group, we came there with a message of uh, forgiveness as Jews and Arabs together, and especially when we visited all people's house there. And after the, our performance, we went to, to shake their hands and hug them. We saw so many tears. And I, I felt that God really did something about this, you know. And, and there was uh, a lot of... Uh, understanding about the uh, release that we can have through Jesus. In Brazil, though, it was mostly the stories of uh, different uh, kind of uh, challenges as we mostly we, um, we slept on the floor. We used to have sometimes mattresses, but sometimes not. We didn't have pillow, never <laughs> at all. And we were really challenged about the way we lived. And uh, food was fine, but there was also challenges. But we were we were really learned to be thankful. And as we saw all this poverty, I think that it made us also to not to criticize small things that we used to. So we, I could see really amazing change in the youth. Actually, they 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 became more thankful. Actually through the things what they saw and also 
the way that they saw that also in Brazil especially, people were so open to gospel. This was amazing for us as an Israeli group that we are not allowed here to share gospel openly. But there, wherever we went, we asked people who want to receive Jesus. Everybody usually raised their hand in the school. 300, 400 kids who want to receive Jesus. Everybody raised their hands and they were prayed for. We don't know what will happen after we pray that there will be fruit. But people were open every place. It was in the streets, school. Everywhere they wanted to be prayed for, and we, it was amazing for us. And we could all, they came and asked, forced us to tell what is our, our secret. So people in Brazil are really, really open. There is not the borders that than here, because we have here the religious, strong religious spirits of Judaism and Islam. So this is blocking the way for to tell about the love of God. Now it is difficult, as you said, to evangelize here in the nation. So was it important for the youth to be able to go and do it outside the country? Absolutely. Actually, it was very interesting. Some of the youth that I have a discussion, personal discussion with them, so they say that they really get the fire to share about uh, Jesus and they want to continue to do it in the country. And of course, it's different. And they say that I hope that I would not have fear, but they really understand the importance of that. And they want, but uh, it's good and important for them to, sh to give them the opportunity to do it openly, also at schools, you know, that, you know, they, there we could tell whatever we want, but here we can't, it's absolutely, it's closed, everything. So it is very important and it also changed something in us. We understand that even here in the country, sometimes we, we think, okay, we can't do anything, but we can. We just need to find the right way and the right timing and, and God wants to speak here to the lives of people as well and especially here. And what's your prayer finally for the Jewish children, Arab children, and Palestinian children here in the land? Um, yeah, my prayer that they will grow without hatred to each other, that uh, they would know the loving God, and they will find the personal relationship with God through Jesus. And this is the only way, actually, for real uh, peace between the nations. Okay, Ruth, thank you very much. Thank you.